What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 11th ECMAScript 6 tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can make use of something known as fad arrow functions in ECMAScript 6. Now with this ES6, there's a bit of change in the syntax and that is that the syntax is a bit changed for the function declaration and writing that. So Let's just say if you want to add two numbers in JavaScript, then what you'll do is that you'll create a function like that. Function return and inside here you'll just supply with num1 and num2 as the parameters and you'll simply return num1 plus num2. Easy enough. Now what if I want to add the same code or rewrite the same code with ECMAScript 6? So what I'll do is I'll write var add is function and now we don't need this function keyword with ECMAScript what you need is that here would go the name of the arguments you are expecting so this thing right here would be the same thing here so if I just copy and paste now once you're done with the argument stuff you'll need to write an equal to and then a greater than sign or you just have to make this arrow I don't know what you call this greater than or less than then you have to write your body of your function definition basically and then you can write anything you like like var sum is actually num1 plus num2 and uh, return some so you can do something like that so if I get rid of this and I call this like that console log add 10 40 and load this in my browser as you can see we get the sum as 50 so now you can actually compress this code even more by getting rid of this line and just passing num1 plus num2 here now you can if you have just a single line return you can compress this code even more how well you can just get rid of these parentheses and curly braces sorry and then you can get rid of this return statement as well and you can just simply write like that so that is a perfectly valid ECMAScript 6 line so if I just reload this again you can see that the result is still 50 and that looks so much compact and nice as compared to your traditional JavaScript approach and you can actually just omit these parentheses as well if you have only a single argument like if you're doing something like this where you are just returning that particular thing then you can just get rid of that at all so this is still a function but it doesn't look like one so yeah so whenever you have a single argument only you can get rid of these parentheses except when you have this rest argument so now you need to put the parentheses so if I just reload this 10 20 30 40 and reload this as you can see I get an array out of this so that's how you basically work with the fat arrow system in ECMAScript 6 and in the next tutorial I'll be discussing something more about this and yeah so that's all for this one and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching